So you actually touched on something there, which was change. And I think we chatted briefly, but the three companies that um, I asked you, well, you you gave me a list and, I, and we identified these three as really interesting because these three are going through change and pretty dramatic change. Um, I don't know which order you want to take it, but I feel like one of the ones that we've never covered on the show is Balkan. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just such a highly, you know, talked about industry in 2022. It's basically been lithium and coal and then yeah. there's everything else, right? Like, so um, can you talk us through uh, Vulcan, um, I guess, renewable energy, obviously sort of sustainable energy sources, renewable energy sources, like everything, like what initially drove you to Vulcan, the industry at large, like just give us the 101, mate. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, there's lots to talk about. So a bit of background, I used to be uh, work for Vale, the uh, world's largest iron ore miner and big in the steel sector. I sold metallurgical and thermal coal for them. So I've had a bit of a background in sort of supply mm -hmm. demand pricing for, for energy um, and, and had a bit of a look at that, you know, for as a job. So I've always kind of been interested in the energy transition um, and I suppose, yeah, sustainably powering stuff. Um, you know, it's not sustainable just to keep, um, you know, pillaging the earth on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah. uh, kind of always been interested in lithium. Um, I'm from Western Australia originally as well. So, um, you know, it's a, it's, a mining the DNA. State. it's a mining state, it's a resources state. So, um, you know, it's a little bit a little bit of that as well. But I think, uh, yeah, we, ha we had a look at lithium kind of in the first lithium boom, which was, you know, uh, a few years back, uh, kind of at the genesis of Pilbara and Oracobra, which is now, you know, Orchem um, and, uh, and those kind of names. Probably thought it was a little bit early, probably thought it was a bit expensive for where it was and, and kind of we kind of didn't make much money out of it, to be honest. And then um, this time around, I kind of uh, met uh, Francis Whedon from, from Vulcan. Uh, we shared an office in Perth um, hmm. together just by coincidence. And um, he was from, he just moved out to the UK from the UK and he was, you know, starting this business and, um, and they were looking to do a small raise at 40 cents. And, um, you know, he, he just really impressed me as an individual. Uh, I really thought um, he, he passed the, the smell test, I suppose, from a, from a, from a human <laughs> being perspective. He rode his bike to work every day. Um, he bought his lunch in uh, all the kind of things that all the little soft intangible things that kind of really get me excited about a business owner. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then, yeah, we sort of, uh, he taught me a lot about, about particularly DLE, a direct lithium extraction and um, introduced me to some really, you know, knowledgeable experts in the field, both in Western Australia and around the world. And I, I've kind of just skilled myself up as, as best I can really over the, over the journey um, and, and tried to learn about it. But yeah, that's kind of how we came across Vulcan initially as we sat in the same office as them. <laughs> and uh, it's that that simple. Um, but, yeah, we, we made a pretty significant investment then and we've continued to make investments in that business. Um, and, and, yeah, you know, my view is, is you know, this could be one of the great Australian resources success stories. Um, and, and I see Francis, you know, could be end up being, you know, one of the wealthiest people in, in, in Australia. Um, so, I, uh, yeah, I just think it's a, it's a game-changing project, largest resource in Europe. Um, you know, it's going to be produced, the producer zero carbon product, which I think is really important. They're going to use geothermal energy that's naturally occurring in the brines to, um, to power the various chemical processes that are associated with creating a lithium hydroxide. Um, and, you know, they've partnered with some of the, some of the best people on the planet uh, in, this, in this space. Um, hmm. And they're operating in what is largely, you know, what is going to be the world's largest battery market, which is going to be Germany. So um, it's a pretty you know, interesting story and, yeah, I feel really grateful to um, to have kind of spent a bit of time with the company and, and learn about it. 